guys, what's up? It's Nina. Welcome back to the channel. If you were new here, welcome. So happy that you're here. And if you're not new, how's it going? Today we are going to be learning Ivy. And this song is so fun. This is honestly my one of my favorite songs that I've learned from this album on guitar because it's just so fun. If you haven't seen my other tutorials, go ahead and click the link up here. You can see all the guitar tutorials from Evermore I've done. Willow, Champagne Problems, Gold Rush, Tis the Damn Season, and Nobody No Crime. So go check all of those out. Also, Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to 2021. It's been a time. Before we get started, go ahead and click the link in the description box that takes you to my website where all of my guitar tabs are so you can download the chords and print them or just save them if you want to. And it has all the lyrics and everything. So that's really helpful when you're going through the video to have it next to you. So do that if you want. And let's get into the video. It's not a filming day without my chai latte. <laughs> Also, if you didn't know, they sell Taylor Swift coasters on Amazon. I'll link these down below. I have one for every single album, and I love them. So this song is capoed on the second fret, and we will be using our favorite chord progression ever. And the chords that you're going to need for this song are A minor 7, G sus 4, F sus 2, D minor 7, C, and I think that's it. Oh, and then at the end, there's a chord called C over B, which I've taught before. That's just a couple times in the end. So yeah, this song has no intro. She just starts singing. So we get to jump straight into the verse. For the strumming, you can either do picking or I'm just going to teach a very basic strumming pattern for this song. So for the verse, we have A minor, G, F, D minor, 7, and then A minor, F, C, G. And that is... Is going to repeat twice and here's the strumming pattern that we're going to be doing so we've got a minor and the strumming is going to be down 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 up and then you're gonna switch chords to G sus for down 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 up and then we go to F sus 2 down 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 up and then D minor 7 which this is how I play it so you don't have to move your first finger as much down 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 up and then you go back to A minor. Down, 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 up. F sus two, down, 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 up. And then C, down, 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 up. And then G. And then you repeat that whole section again for the second part of the verse. I'll do that a little bit faster. A minor. Down, 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 up, down. going to sing the words so you can kind of get the vibes. Hells want to know, I meet you where the spirit meets the bones, and a faithful God to And then it goes, and it does that again. Tarnished but so grand. And then it has a pre-chorus, and it's funny because the pre-chorus only happens in the first verse, but whatever, Taylor Swift does whatever she wants. Um, and for the pre-chorus, we got A minor, G, F, D minor, A minor, F, G. So you're just going to play this regular strumming pattern that I taught, and then on the last G, you're going to play that for two measures leading into the chorus. So I'm going to play and sing it slow. In the old widow goes to the song. then it goes into the chorus. When you're like on the G, it just starts singing the chorus. For the chorus, this is where it's gonna change a little bit in the strumming because you're not doing the same strumming pattern anymore. It's a little bit faster, but it's also more fun. So love that. The chord progression for this part's going to be C, A minor, G, F, and then C, A minor, G, and then you stay on G for two measures. That repeats twice, and at the very end of the chorus where it says, I'm covered in you, it goes into like a little instrumental bit. 
So the strumming is a little bit confusing. The hardest thing about the strumming for this part is that you're switching chords in the middle of the strumming. So it's gonna be down, up, up, and on the next down, you're gonna switch to A minor. Down, up, up, down. And then we're gonna go to G. Down, up, up, F. Down, up, up, down. And then you do that whole thing again. I'll play the second part with the words. So we've got. So you see how the part where it's like says I'm covered in you, it goes back to the verse chord progression and strumming. So the instrumental chords are a little different from the verse. It's got A minor G, F for two measures. So A minor G, F, F, and then we've got D minor for two measures, and then we've got G sus for two measures. And then it goes into the second verse. I'll play that little instrumental for you, but it's the same strumming pattern as the verses. So we've got A minor. Covered. I just love the melody of this song. The second verse is this exactly the same as the first verse, and the chorus is the same as the first chorus, except for the ending. You're not gonna go into the instrumental, you're gonna dive right into the bridge. So, when it says, My house is stone and your ivy grows, and now I'm covered, covered blue in the field. So it goes straight into that bridge. And the weird thing about this song is there's like two bridges. Like there's this bridge and then there's another bridge, but it's more of like an outro. I don't really know. Anyways, this song is all over the place. So for this bridge, we've got D minor seven, E minor. Oh, E minor's in here. <laughs> D minor seven, E minor, F, G, A minor, and then C over B, C. So that chunk of chords gets played twice for this bridge. And the good thing is that the strumming for the bridge is the same as the verses, the down, down, up. So we start with D minor. Down, 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 up, E minor. Down, 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 up, F, G, A minor. And then C over B is gonna be this chord. Down, 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 up, and then C. And then it goes back into D minor seven. And then you're gonna stay on that C for two measures at the end of that bridge. And then it goes into a verse three, another verse three, and it's the same as the first two verses. And then it goes into a, another chorus. Gosh, she plays the chorus so many times in this song, and it's probably because it slaps. It, it This chorus slaps. It gets stuck in my head literally every day. There's nothing different about this chorus except for the last line. It repeats, so it says, and now I'm covered in you. She does a little instrumental bitty bit there. The strumming pattern for this part is the same as the verse. The chords for this part are C, A minor, G, F, C, A minor, G, and then you stay on G. And then it goes into the second bridge, so I'll play you that last two lines kind of into the second bridge outro. And now I'm covered Yeah, that part. So this part follows more of the strumming pattern of the chorus because it's more open. So the chords for this part are C, F, G, C, F, G, and then A minor, F, G, 
and then back to C, F, G. But the thing is that first chord of the line gets two measures, so it's like C twice, and then F, G is quick switching. I will show you. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, and then we've got F, down, up, up, switch, G, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So that part's gonna go, yeah, it's fire, it's a goddamn part of my love and you started it. One more time, this drumming's gonna be C, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, F, down, up, up, switch, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. And you're gonna do that for each like line and then it gets to A minor so you do C F G twice and then it goes to A minor A minor so down up up down up up down up down up F down up up G down up up down up down up so I'll just sing that part and go a little faster so you can see we'll do the second half so yeah it's a war it's a goddamn it goes into the last chorus. For this part, there's a little bit of a difference in the chords. For example, we've got, it starts on A minor, so, oh, I can, and then it goes to C over B. So, A minor, down, up, up, C over B, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, C, down, up, up, and then we've got D minor 7, down, up, up, down, up, goes A minor G C so we've got down up up G down up up down up down up and then C I'll show you how that's gonna sound so it's gonna go So the way that part's gonna end is like when it goes, you stay on G, so house of stone and ivy grows, and now I'm covered in you. So that part in you is gonna go C, A minor, G for two measures, C, A minor, G for two measures, and you're gonna do that six times to end out the song while it does the outro. So I'll just play that. In you. And you keep playing that as many times as you want until the very end, and then you can end on C. All right, that's the whole song. What a fun song to play, and what a fun song to sing. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Give me a like if you did. If you would like to see the full sing-along playthrough, you can go click on my music channel where I post all of the sing-alongs so you can play along and I'll have the chords on the screen for you. And someone commented that I should add the strumming pattern, so I might do that for this video. We'll see. But So you can go check that out. And don't forget to subscribe because I make new videos every day. Tuesday and Friday, sometimes more, and I hope you guys have a great first day of 2021. Fingers crossed, pray in the years, has good vibes, and I hope it brings Taylor Swift's new re-recorded albums. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! We're gonna burn this house to the ground. <laughs> I feel so powerful when I sing that part. It's really funny. Goddamn fight of my life and you started it. You started it. Whoever you are.